Man, just, I'm just lost for words, man. man. You guys seen how emotional I was at that moment. Um, you know, my pops, he was just telling me he was proud of me. You know, he's looking forward to the next chapter. Uh, it's been an emotional week. I'm sure you guys can tell from beating Duke. Um, from that interview after the game, you know, until now, uh, it just all seemed, you know, so unreal to me. And, you know, I want to thank, you know, all the fans for coming out. Um, you know, I, mean, I, couldn't, I couldn't write a better chapter than this in terms of how to, you know, end my last few games after Joe. Um, I wish we would have got that Georgia Tech game because of all the, you know, guys from the 95 anniversary team was here. But, um, I'm just, I'm speechless, man. Like, I just you can't write a better story. It didn't seem like you wanted to leave the floor. You and Andrea and Tori waved to the fans. They left. You hung around as the band was playing. What are you thinking there? Um, nobody out there spent more time on that floor than me. And even, not been here so many long. I've been here longer than the coaches. So, you know, it was a little personal for me just sitting out there for one last moment, you know, reminiscing from you know, my first time shooting in that gym, my first time going to a game in that gym, and I uh, playing my last game in it. So I was kind of just, you know, refreshing every memory that I have in it. Brandon, after having your finish to the Duke game and, and the way that game closed out with you playing such a key part of it, how happy are you with the way you attacked today's game? You let the game come to you. You got your teammates involved. It was your senior night. You definitely didn't get caught up in the moment, it didn't seem like, from a playing perspective. No, nah, you got somebody on the team like Olivier Shaw who starts off the game basically scoring the first 12 points. It's not even debatable who's the best player on the floor tonight. So we just keep feeding him the ball. Um, and obviously had another career high um, and another, you know, what is it, 17 rebounds. Um, so he deserves ACC Player of the Week. You know, this is that shouldn't even be debatable. It shouldn't even be an argument. We had 25 last night. We had 25 against, you know, number 17 you know, in the country. And then now 30 and 17. I mean, what he's doing right now is really just playing his best basketball at the right time. It's something that we need from everyone. And Olivia had a great game, but it was a great collective game from everyone else. Take me through the emotions of the hug with your dad on the sideline. Um, I think Andrew was shooting the free throw. And I looked at Coach D, and I was just like, I'm ready to come up. And I think everyone on the floor had four fouls. <laughs> so nobody wanted to foul. And I didn't want to foul. So, <laughs> you don't want to foul out of your last yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm thankful that I, I can't even remember what happened. Either they scored or something happened. The, the Notre Dame possession last year, correct? Yeah. And I was like, yo, like, I don't want this to end. I don't want it to end like this. Somebody do something. So I'm glad they scored. Um, <laughs> then after that, it was a rolling like timeout. I seen uh, Coach, uh, Coach D put June in, and I was walking off the floor. And at that moment, I just knew those were my last few moments. You know, I wait for us uh, at the Joe, um, leaving the floor, dap up. You know, Coach Manning, Coach Wood, Rex, you know, Evan and JB. And I just seen my dad just let all the emotions out, man. I mean, that guy's made so many sacrifices for me, for my brother, for this family. Um, you know, you, people take for granted for, you know, how great of a guy he is off the court. You know, a lot of you guys see the, the happy and, and the mad chill when he's on the bench, you know, whether he's yelling at me or somebody else. But, you know, off the court, I mean, our relationship is just unbreakable. It's almost like a bond that, can, that just can't be broken. Um, I mean, I love that guy to death. You know, obviously my mom played a big part of my life, so I wouldn't be here without her. But, you know, the things that my father has done for me is just really just... Can't even, like, I can't think of enough, man. You know, running through that tunnel the first game, playing Rafford, hitting my first shot. And I just saw his face going from coach to dad. Um, and then now tonight, he was coach, you know, for those 40 minutes. But the moment, you know, I walked out of that game, I mean, he was just all dad. Even when we got to the locker room, 
you know, he was getting a little emotional, you know what I'm saying, towards me, because we both know how hard I work for this. And you know, he's ready for the next chapter of my life. And I mean, I'm ready for it as well, but when you've been around this program for so long, you know, coming to all the games when I was in high school, I was a local kid, went to Eastside Side, transferred to Wesleyan. And then now, you know, finishing my career here. So I've been around for eight years, quite some time, possibly longer than some of you guys. So, so I'm really, I really feel old. And now you know how to change a tire. Yeah, now I know how to change a tire. <laughs> Brandon, you also stayed out there and it seemed like you really took in the alma mater being played as yeah, well. Man. What was that like for you? It's actually the first time I've ever done it in my career. First and last time. So just embracing that. Um, was participating in the opportunity. Um, there's just no next time I'm you know, when I decide to come back. I either I'll be an alumni, so uh, it would kind of be different. Hopefully they don't kick me out the, uh, the stands. We gotta let the team. <laughs> Whose idea was the warm up shirt with your dad's number on it? Say it again. Whose idea was the warm-up shirt with your dad's number? Uh, it was a collective group idea. Um, I actually wanted to wear 22 for my last game here, just to honor my father. Um, couldn't get it. I'm not going to say why. Right off. Um, <laughs> but, you know, things happen. So, uh, so I just, you know, warm up in it. And then uh, it got to the point where the announcers were like, are you wearing 22 tonight? And I wanted to say yes, but I didn't want any confusion or any, you know, for us to shoot a tech over. I think that's a tech. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm wearing zero. So. Good. Thank you, brother.